All right, I'm going to show you an example from scripture outlining the fact that the Jews, the Talmudic devil worshiping Jews, actually killed their own prophets. Okay, here's the, the scriptures for that. Because before anybody calls me, oh, you're, you're anti Semite, you're this or that, look at what the scriptures say, okay? And by the way, this is criticism of Judaism as a religion, not uh, ethnic Israel over in the Holy Land. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. But Acts chapter 7, verse 51 to 53. Here's uh, Stephen actually rebuking the Talmudic Jews for having the blood of their own prophets on their hands. Acts chapter 7, verse 51 to 53. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised, and heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. Which other prophets have not your fathers persecuted, and them have slain them, and they have slain them, which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have now, uh, of whom ye have been now, the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the disposition of angels, and have not kept it. That simple. And not just that, the, the Talmudic Jews killed the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as well. Matthew chapter 23, verse 31 to 35. More scriptures outline the fact that the Jews, the Talmudic Jews, killed their own prophets. Matthew chapter 23, verse 31 down to verse 35. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves, that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets, and wise men, and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Barachias, I'm saying that right, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Jesus rebuking the Jewish, Talmudic Jewish Pharisees for having being the children of them that slain the prophets, and also being unrepentant of that. Uh, insanity as well. First Thessalonians chapter two, verse fourteen to sixteen. For ye, brethren, became the followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets, and have persecuted us, and they please not God, and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be, that they might be saved, to fill up their sins all way, for the wrath has come upon them to the uttermost. The, the blunt and brutal reality is that these Jews, they're, they're, they're God's wrath is on them. The wrath of God is on them, I'll put it that way. And uh, Judaism is a false religion, whether you like it or not. Any religion that denies that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and the Son of God is Antichrist, is of the spirit of Antichrist, according to 1 John chapter 2, verse 22 to 23. Not my words, that's the words of the Apostle John. And according to Acts chapter 4, verse 10 to 12, there's no other way of salvation except through Jesus Christ. So any religion, Judaism included, that denies salvation through Jesus Christ is a false religion. And like I said, Judaism is no exception to that. If it denies Jesus Christ is the way of salvation and the Messiah, it's Antichrist and it's false. There's no, according to scripture, not my own standard. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Uh, don't be deceived. Uh, Judaism is, like I said, a demonic, satanic, false religion. So it's uh, important to get Jews, give Jews the gospel. I'll put, it, I'll put it that way. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.